today's video, I have another shadow boxing drill for you guys. I hope all is well with everyone. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you the, I'm going to give you a, another pattern to work on, and it's going to consist of slips, weaves, and rolls. So those are going to be our three defenses in this drill. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the pattern. I'm going to break it down for you, and then I'm going to ask you if you want to follow along. We can do it together. And then the third part of it is I'm going to break down all the little details and intricacies of the drill, and I'm going to also explain how you can actually add things to, the, to this one drill, and so for, like for some bonuses, you can do extra things. But it's all about mastering the first pattern first. So let's get into that pattern. What we're going to do with that, this pattern is we're going to start our, our drill off with a one-two combination, a, a left-right jab. If you're southpaw, it's a right-left, okay? And, and if you're southpaw, do these drills and learn the slips and the weaves just like you were fighting another southpaw, okay? And I'm going to be coming out with a lot more southpaw videos that are going to teach you guys different angles that you can use as a southpaw and different strategies you can use as a southpaw. But the, the foundation and the body mechanics are the same. What I'm teaching you as a right-hander, you're going to do the same thing as a left-hander. You're going to learn those same mechanics. So you practice these drills against, like you was fighting another right-hander, just like, I mean, fighting another left-hander, just like a right-hander is fighting a right-hander. What happens with the south pole situation against a right-hander is you will learn different strategies and different things that, that you can create different angles. But the body mechanics of a drill, you can practice it just like a right-hander practices it, okay? But you just have to imagine that you're fighting another south pole. So let's get into the drill. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a one-two combination. Like I said, it's a left-right for us right-handers, and that's what I'm going to do the drill as a, as a right-hander. Left, right Okay, then we're going to slip a jab, come back with an uppercut, right hand, left hook, slip a right hand, hook to the body, hook to the head, right hand, weave a hook, and come back with a right hand, left hook, weave this time under a right hand, whether it's a right hook or a right hand, and come back with a hook, right hand, then what we're going to do is we're going to Slip or roll, whether it's a right hand or a jab, we're going to use the same body mechanics and the same technique. Like I said, when you're, you, when you're slipping a jab or rolling a right hand, you can use the same technique. So in other words, the jab's coming at me, I can let that jab go right past me. If it's a right hand, I can shoulder roll it, okay? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to say roll. We're going to roll. That's going to be our roll. And we're going to go back into a slip of a right hand and a weave of a hook, okay? So in other words, the guy could, you could roll the right hand, you could roll the jab off your shoulder as well. So you could roll the right hand, maybe he throws a double right hand, and you slip. So you roll one, you slip one, and then you weave under the hook. You come back with an uppercut, hook, right hand. Okay? Then from there, we can go right back into the drill. One, two, slip the jab. Uppercut, right hand, left hook. Slip the right hand, hook to the body, hook to the head, right hand. Weave under a hook, right hand, left hook, weave under a right hand, hook, right hand. Roll, slip, weave, uppercut. You could throw that to the body if you wanted to create a body shot. And you could just throw the uppercut to the head, hook, right hand. Back into the drill off the right hand. One, two, slip, uppercut. Right hand, hook. Hook to the body, hook to the head, right hand. Weave, right hand, left hook. Weave, hook, right hand. Roll, slip, weave. Uppercut, hook, right hand. Back into the drill. One, two. Slip, uppercut, right hand, left hook. Slip the right hand, hook to the body, hook to the head, right hand. Weave, right hand, left hook. Weave, left hook, right hand. Roll, slip, weave. Uppercut, hook, right hand, back into the drill. Okay, so you guys, 
If you can follow that, now we can try to do it together. Okay, so we're going to go right into it with a one, two. We're going to start off with a one, two. Remember, that's the first combination. I'm not going to talk as much. I'm just going to go with it, okay? One, two. So, the details of that drill and what you can add to that drill. Like I said, it's not about how many drills you know, how many drills you practice. It's how well you do the drill, how you perfect the drill. And all the details is where the greatness is at. Greatness is in the details, okay? All the little intricacies. So what I can tell you is when you throw on this one, two, you can learn how to mix speeds and you can learn how to mix power shots. Okay, so you might throw, like in other words, and you, and you could be creative as you want with this and have your own imagination and do it how you want to do it. But let's say I could throw a one, two with what I'm emphasizing, maybe I'm throwing power. One, two, I'm throwing a lot of power, okay? Now, I could slip that jab and maybe I just throw the uppercut and I just turn it right into a right hand and come back with a hook. So it's like a boom, boom, boom shot. Or I can crank that uppercut, crank the right hand, crank the hook. Maybe it's a power shot. Like I said, so I can go into one, two for the power shot and I can come one, two. If I do that, what I'm doing is I throw the right hand. I'm not recoiling it back. I'm not pulling it all the way back and putting my foot back on the floor. I can just turn it right into a right hand. I could go boom, boom. So in other words, uppercut, toes facing the target, right hand. So it's uppercut, right hand. It's uppercut, right hand, left hook, okay? If I'm turning hard on the hook, maybe I wanna turn, it, turn the foot, maybe I wanna keep it on the ground. And that's another video that I'm gonna do on the certain ways you can generate powers with a left hook. And I, I, I have my instructional videos out where I go over nine punches and all the footwork and I break these punches down. But I'm gonna be doing other videos on certain angles and certain ways you can throw certain punches and get just the same amount of power in the shots. It's all the body mechanics is how you get the power. So but like I said, you're gonna throw the uppercut, right hand, left hook. Okay, let's say those are fast shots. So it's a, it's a boom, boom, boom. It's a boom, boom, boom. Now I'm gonna slip the right hand. Maybe I throw another three fast shots. Boom, boom, boom. So these hooks, Maybe they're setting up the power of the right hand or maybe they're just there. And then I slip under the hook and I come back with power. Right hand, left hook. So in other words, boom, boom, I'm really throwing power into those two shots. Then I'm gonna weave under the, under the hook, maybe I throw power again, boom, boom, okay? Then I weave, slip, under. I can throw power again, uppercut, hook, right hand. Then I, may, then I come back with my one, two with power, okay? So maybe I throw power and I throw more power. So there's all the little things you can do or maybe you throw speed and then you come back with another one, two with power. So you can constantly do this drill and mix up the speeds and the power. The other thing you can do is, like I said, certain slips, certain, certain techniques, you can blend styles, you know? It's like, like when I'm going, when I go one, two, I'm slipping a jab past me that way, right? I'm going uppercut, right hand, left hook. Then I'm slipping. 
I could slip a right hand like this and go to the head. Right? Uh, but when I slip this way, I'm going to the I'm going to the body. So what that slip is, it's like a Mike Tyson kind of slip. I'm slipping down to go to the body. Boom. Okay, I'm slipping this way. Okay, I'm going weaves and slips like Mike Tyson used to do. Okay? Mike, Mike Tyson was very good at slipping and, and weaving. And I'm gonna my my next two videos are gonna be Mike Tyson shadow boxing drills. So stay tuned for those ones. So anyways, I'm gonna be slipping here. I'm gonna to hook to the body, hook to the head, right hand. Okay. From there, I could weave under the hook and come back with a hard right hand, left hook. Okay, where I'm turn, I could turn my feet. Now I'm gonna weave underneath the hook, and I could turn another hook right hand and really rotate on the shot. And then I'm, I, what I'm doing from there is I'm is I'm rolling. Okay. Again, I could slip this way. This is where you can learn how to slip two different ways. So I could slip here, slip here, and then under. Or I could slip here, slip here, and slip under. So like Mike Tyson, he never would slip this way. Mike would slip this way and weave this way. He'd slip like this and weave. His were always like windshield wiper slips, okay? It wasn't like this, but it was here. So he could, crank, he could really, he, all the torque was east and west, like I, like I always talk about when he's weaving. He was never bobbing and getting his head over his foot. He was always this way. Okay, so when, when he was, what I'm doing with that is I'm rolling. That's a shoulder roll style, right? Then I'm going right into Tyson style where I'm, I'm slipping the right hand this way. And then I'm weaving. So it's a roll, slip, weave. Roll, slip, weave. You could do roll, slip, let the right hand go past you, then weave. So that's little things you could do as well. You could slip, you could, you could roll, slip, weave. Or you could call this a slip, this is a slip. Slip, slip, weave. Slip, slip, weave. Or slip, Mike Tyson slip, see? Slip, slip, weave. Okay, so those are all the little things that you can add to it. Then, what you can do with the drill is to keep on broadening your imagination. Okay, so in other words, I'm going to go into the drill. I'm going to show you a bonus. Okay, so you're going to go one, two. We throw uppercut, right hand, left hook. Hook to the body, hook to the head, right hand. Now, from there, instead of me just weaving underneath, and coming to the other side to throw a right hand, I can, I, can, I can go here and I can throw my left hook to the body while I'm weaving underneath. I can throw my left hook to the body and step over right, le right left, throw the right hand. Come back with a hook. And then I can imagine the uh, right hand's coming at me from this angle and I can weave under, catch him with a right hook to the body, left hook to the head, right hand. So when I do that, I'm stepping, boom, boom. Right hand, see? So it's going to be more of an angle. You're working on your, you're getting angles there. So going back at it again, what I'm going to say, well, we started off with a hook to the body, hook to the head, right hand. Now I'm going to step and weave at the same time. And when I step and I weave, I'm going to step with this right foot, slide the left foot. At the same time, I'm weaving underneath the shot. So he's going for my head with the hook. I'm weaving underneath, left hook, right hand, left hook. Here comes the right hand. I'm weaving underneath it, I'm stepping with this foot, and I'm hitting with the right hook to the body, left hook, right hand, okay? One more time with that, hook to the body, hook to the head, right hand, weave, right hand, left hook, weave, hook, right hand. This is what I'm doing, is I'm weaving, and I'm punching. I'm weaving, and I'm hitting him, and I'm coming back to his head. Hitting him in the body, back to the head, hook to the head again, okay? So I'm going. Hook to the body, right hand to the head, hook to the head. Now, weave underneath, right hook to the body, left hook to the head, right hand, okay? Then I'm at this angle, so I'm not looking at the camera now, I'm over here. I'm gonna go back to my weave, my slip, and my roll. And you can add things, you could slip, weave, do it again, step over. So you can start to move laterally and add punches. If you don't, for that body shot, you could still put your footwork into that into this drill without adding any other punches. 
So let's say you say you, we'll go one, two, underneath. I slip the jab. I come from underneath with an uppercut. Right hand, left hook. Slip, hook to the body, hook to the head. Right hand. Now when I weave, I'm not going to throw that body shot, but I am going to step over. Right hand, left hook. So what did I do when I stepped over? Right, left. See? So he's here. I'm hitting him with the right hand. He's coming with a hook. I'm stepping. I'm getting that angle. Now I'm hitting him from this angle. Okay? And I'm coming back with a hook. He's turning to find me. He throws a right hand. I could step over again. Hook. Right hand. So I'm stepping with my feet. Step, step. When I go to throw the hook, I can kill two birds with one stone. I can weave underneath the right hand. I can step and turn that foot and then put it back on the floor. Whether I turn this foot or I don't, I put the right foot back on the floor. But when I, when I want to turn my hips, I can free my hips up by step, step, turn. So I'm weaving underneath the right hand, throwing it. Or you could just step and keep your feet on the floor. because leverage is on the floor. But if you're trying to free that hip up, sometimes it becomes more natural if you turn that foot and then you put it back on the floor as you throw the hook. Even if you turn the foot or you don't turn the foot, this foot's here and then it goes back on the floor, goes back on the floor when you throw the hook, okay? So those are some things, like I said, you can go in wherever you're at, wherever you're working out at and really try to focus on um, putting the pattern together. Like I said, all the greatness is in the details. Think about, like, I love doing these drills in front of a mirror because I try to emphasize, I try to really look at myself and um, try to really focus, I should say, on, is, are my elbows in? Um, you know, my hands aren't up here, my hands aren't down here, but my elbows are in front of my body. Is my chin tucked? Okay. Do I have good vision? But at the same time, my hands are here to be able to block. If I want to go down and block, so I'm keeping everything in tight. Am I not dropping my hands when I throw my punch? I'm taking my shoulders. You know, like Mike Tyson's when he was so why well, he was so good, his punches were so tight and sweet, especially in his prime. He's always going here to throw a shot, going here to throw a shot. He was never dropping his hands. You know what I mean? He was always had his hands right here. His hands were, he would have his hands right underneath on his cheekbones, you know what I mean? So, and, and like I said, with all a lot of the all, all other all-time greats, same things. The elbows were in. Those guys would have more of a heel-toe stance, and they would keep their hands in this kind of position here for the majority of guys. But Tyson was a little, at times he was heel-toe, at some times he was a little bit more squared off, and he would be able to, he, because he was in that position, in almost a, more of a neutral position, he was able to do them shifts and switches. And again, I'm gonna go over that in my next two shadow boxing drills that I put out. So, um, don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you guys think of the video. And uh, like I said, uh, my, I get the instructional videos out, www.worldclassboxinggym.com. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.